Mama. So today I want to show you how you can be able uh, to identify whether you are dealing with uh, a male goose or a female goose. So the technique that uh, I am going to show you is known as uh, sexing. It is one of uh, the sure way of uh, identifying whether the goose that you have is a male or a female. Because uh, when you start goose farming, you realize that it is almost impossible for a new farmer to be able to identify whether it is a male or a female by just looking at it. Because the goose does not have what it does as a sexual dimorphism. So if you are new in the channel, please uh, subscribe so that you can continue uh, uh, getting this very important video. So for, for those people who uh, are able to know just by looking, most of the time you find that you are making a mistake. So if you can just come closer so that I show the people how you can be able to identify. The geese that I have here is uh, a male. This one is, uh, is a male geese. I've been able to identify uh, using uh, this uh, technique. So I want to show you how you can be able to do it. So just hold the, the geese the way I'm holding him and then uh, you apply some pressure on the tail here. Yeah, you move to this uh, sexual region. Yeah, you can see that if you press it here, if you press it here hard enough, then uh, a screw-shaped uh, structure, I hope it can be seen clearly there, a screw-shaped structure is going to appear. Yeah, you can see it. This one is a clear indicator that 100% you are dealing with a male geese. So this is the procedure. This is the procedure. You apply a little bit of a pressure here on the cloaca of this goose. And when you apply it, if it is a male, then a screw-shaped structure is going to appear. And when the, the screw-shaped structure appears, then you are 100% sure this is the penis of the geese. This is uh, actually a very fertile male geese. So that is uh, the way that you can identify whether it is a male or a female. So this one I have shown you is a male here. So let me uh, go. Let me release him so that he can join the others. So that I go and get uh, a female piece. I go and get a female piece I had separated here from the others. So that you can be able to see the difference. So, so this is the piece that we have seen. Just get the piece upside down. You place a little bit of pressure on the tail. Then you place the other hand on the, the cloaca here of the geese. Yes, you place it there. And then uh, you, uh, you apply a little bit of a pressure here with the other hand. Uh, you apply a lot of a pressure here. You are going to realize that there is nothing which is coming out. There is uh, nothing which is going to be coming out here. You will be know the screw shaped structure that we saw in the mail. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that even if I apply the pressure and the twist the tail, yeah, you can see that there is no uh, the screw shaped structure. And uh, this one is a clear indicator that the, the goose I have here on my hands is a, male, is a female geese. So don't forget the procedure. You, you take your bird, the one that you want to, to sex, then you turn it uh, upside down, apply one hand on the tail, and then the other one on the, the cloaca of the geese. Then you apply a little bit of uh, pressure, gently, so that if a screw-shaped structure yeah, becomes uh, prominent, then you know that you are dealing with uh, a male geese. But when there is no the screw-shaped structure, then you are 100% sure that you are dealing with uh, a female geese. So that one is one of the techniques I have uh, taught you today. The technique is known as event sexing. It's very important for you as a new farmer because uh, you are going to meet other people who want to sell you uh, male geese in the name of uh, being the females. So with, even without looking at uh, the various uh, 
a, a physical manifestation of a female, like having a, a very large uh, stomach, a pot for their eggs, and the male being a flat on the underbelly. You can be able to apply these techniques as long as the birds are mature and you'll be able to come out with a conclusion whether you are dealing with a male or a female piece. Thank you very much and continue following for more videos. Thank you and have a nice time.